everyone, welcome to the Waffle Flower channel. This is Katie Gehring, and on today's Throwback Thursday, I'm going to be showing you how I created this set of deconstructed chevron give thanks cards using Waffle Flower's pattern play stamp set and give thanks stamp set. To get started, I pulled out some Waffle Flower inks in my go-to autumn palette these days. The ink colors I used are Peace of Mind, Happy Go Lucky, My Pleasure, and Oh Happy Day. I also pulled out two panels of white cardstock already trimmed to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to be making two cards today with a very similar design. The reason I have two pieces of the cardstock is because on one panel, the diagonal is going to go from left to right. And then on the other panel, it's gonna go from right to left. So I pulled out my pattern play stamp set and um, got started with stamping. So I've gone ahead and sped up this process a little bit for you. I've inked up my first stamp, which is the solid large polka dot um, with the Oh Happy Day ink and um, stamped it on both card stocks. And I'm not really trying to go for symmetry here. I'm just kind of, um, you know, making good use of the stamp while I already have it out, but I'm not stamping the exact same pattern on both pieces of cardstock. I think that this will um, lead to some really fun, um, you know, interesting design. And I like that it's gonna be asymmetrical. So I'm going to just continue along here, adding um, different patterns and, um, different colors to both panels. Um, this pattern play stamp set, I'm not sure if it's already in your stamping supplies, but it's one that I love and um, use quite frequently. Um, it's just a great versatile stamp set. Um, the patterns kind of remind me a little bit of washi tape, which I know um, we all love using in our crafty projects. So it's nice to be able to kind of add a washi like um, detail using um, stamps and ink. The other nice thing about this design in particular is I am creating two cards at once. And the cards that I'm creating today are going to be sent as Thanksgiving cards. I don't typically send a lot of Thanksgiving cards, um, but if I'm not going to be able to get together with um, family that year, I do try to um, at least send a Thanksgiving card to let them know that I'm thinking of them. So we're kind of finalizing our plans for the holiday and um, there are a few family members that we're not going to be able to see due to travel. Um, so instead of getting our um, crazy family and dog on the holiday, they're going to be getting a card. Um, and truth be told, I think they will be happy to have the card instead of our crazy crew. I also think this design is versatile enough to um, use for a number of occasions. Um, like I said, I'm going to be using these as Thanksgiving cards, but you could really use them for um, any occasion, um, birthdays or thank you. Um, really, it's, it's quite versatile and um, it's always nice to make two cards at once. So um, I'm just going to continue stamping out the lines. I'm getting close to being finished and kind of matching them up to see how they are going to look together. So I'm going to add one more or maybe not and um, I am finished. So now I'm going to trim the pieces of cardstock in half just using a Fiskars trimmer and um, match them up and um, see how they look to kind of make this deconstructed chevron. I've pulled out a couple pieces of craft card stock that I have made note cards from, and I'm trimming the um, chevron panels just a little bit more because I want there to be a little bit of a border in between um, the panels as well as around the outer edge of the card. So um, I'm kind of testing and learning with the measurements on, um, on this first card and um, I make my cuts, go ahead and add some adhesive and adhere it to the note card. And as I'm doing that, I realize that maybe there's a little bit too much space in between um, the, the two um, 
stamped panels. So I go ahead and trim this note card off just by about an eighth or a quarter of an inch and um, make a note for the second card that I don't need to trim the stamped pieces down quite so much. And because these cards are going to family, I am not going to worry about the fact that they are not um, A2 size. They're just slightly um, less wide than that, but um, I don't think anybody is going to um, fuss too much about that. I'm going to finish up adhering the um, stamped pieces to the second note card and then start to think about my sentiment. Now, because this background is a little busy, I am going to use the flower circles dies um, to die cut a couple circles from white card stock. And then I'm going to pull out the Give Thanks stamp set, um, a couple of the leaves from that stamp set, as well as the Give Thanks sentiment itself, and um, stamp those on to the white circles. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the um, one leaf using My Pleasure and the second one leaf using Oh Happy Day. And now the Give Thanks, um, I've decided I do want to use a brown color. So I just pull out some basic brown ink and um, kind of make sure that that's going to stamp okay and then add it to the circle itself. I add a little bit of foam tape to the back of the circle just to give it a little bit of extra dimension. And then I will repeat this process for the second note card. And there we go, all finished. If there is an older waffle flower stamp set or die that you'd like to see featured in an upcoming Throwback Thursday, just leave me a comment on this video or on the Waffle Flower blog. For more product information, visit waffleflower.com. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.